I'm going to give you a tour on how to connect your first database to Teleport. This tutorial will focus on our hosted edition of Teleport. For this setup, we'll be connecting to a Teleport Cloud instance under the Actme Dev subdomain that I've selected. We'll connect to a AWS RDS instance using Postgres, and we'll have to set up a EC2 instance will provide our jump host and have to find role for it. We're going to set this all up now. To get started, I'm going to create a fresh database. There's a few things to look out for here. We support both RDS and MySQL. I'm going to create a test database. Use the standard login. You want to make sure that you have public access, at least for the initial setup, so you can create the user and set up IAM database authentication. Let's create that database. These are the credentials that RDS has created for us. We're going to save these and use these later to access the database from our workstation. Let's check the status of the database. It's still creating, so we're going to create the IAM roles needed. We're going to use an IAM policy to let our teleport host be able to connect to the instance. This is slightly different than the ARN you would get from RDS, so please place close attention to the account ID, region, and DB cluster. We're going to copy this and configure this now. The region is where you started the host. In our case, it's US West. The account ID is available from the top menu. And the cluster resource ID is different from the ARN, but it's available on the configuration page. You can select a DB username, but we're just going to use a star. We're going to select this and go over to AWS IAM and create a new policy. You can see that this provides full access to our RDS instance. Next up, we're going to create a user in our RDS instance, which we're going to impersonate. So we're going to use psql to connect to the directly to this instance using the username that we defined and uh, the password that we saw earlier. This is the only time that you'll be using this username and password, just for initial configuration. We have instructions available on our documentation site. In my case, I'm changing the username from D Alice to dbadmin, but it's important to grant it the RDS IAM role. The role has been granted. Another thing you need to do is, for the instance, we'll launch a new small EC2 host, which will provide Teleport the ability to get access to the RDS database. I'm going to be SSHing into this to install Teleport and configure everything. This is the same as our standard install procedure, um, but I'm just going to follow along. To install Teleport, I'm going to get everything from our installations page. I'm using our dev repo. And last up, I install Teleport. Teleport has now been installed, and I'll come back to this host. We're going to now attach the IAM role we created earlier to this new instance that we've created. So we modify the IAM role. You can either create a new role here or select one. In my case, I've just created a new EC2 common use case role and using my predefined policy that we created earlier. This means this EC2 host can assume the role to provide a, a RDS access. Next up, we're going to get the join token. I'm going to log in 
to my cloud instance, add my OTP token, and download the certificates to use tcuddle. Next up, I use tcuddle to create the tokens. I've changed this to add the auth server and also the DB URI to point to my RDS instance. I have to make sure that I'm running in sudo, but everything will start again. And you can see the database service has started successfully. Now I'll be able to access this database using TSH on my local machine. I'm going to TSH DB login. Use these psql commands that have been pre-filled. Change it to use the default table, which in my case is Postgres, and my user, which I've assumed, which is DB admin. And now I have access to Postgres via Teleport. If I add something, I can scrub out my actions. All of this will be recorded in Teleport. There's a full audit log of activity. Thank you. This brings me to the end of the video. If you have any questions, please leave comments in our discussion board.